So greetings everyone, I'm the Technomage with what will be my first review of a series. When I started this channel I wonder if I ever were going to do something like this and I cannot believe I am doing it with a Marvel MCU Phase 4 series, but here I am. Uh, you may be wondering why am I subjecting myself to something like this? Well, I used to love the Marvel series and all the trash that Disney Marvel has been putting out on the last few years and the disrespect that they have subjected the millions of fans that made up this franchise and supported it and promoted it and whatnot has been embarrassing to say the least. So I'm going to start this by so, so I'm going to make this this review of this series uh, as it's been published to give Disney a piece of my mind. So anyway Let's get this on the road. So, She-Hulk. For those of you who don't know, maybe because you haven't seen the series yet, or, I mean, there's only one episode out, so if, in case you haven't seen this episode, or you don't know anything about Marvel Comics, She-Hulk is Jennifer Walters, uh, Bruce Banner's The Hulk's uh, cousin. I don't know for um, I don't know from which side of the family. Anyway, that, that, that doesn't matter. And she became a She-Hulk, the Dutch a Hulk, just like her cousin, due to some circumstances. But at, unlike the Hulk, like her cousin, who becomes the Hulk and goes berserk, uh, she could actually maintain her sanity during her transformation a transformation that was permanent she was always big and green and strong and she moved on with, with her life she continued being a lawyer and a superhero she has been a, a member of the fantastic the fantastic four the and the avengers as well and she was a fairly popular character in the comics so anyway here we are on the on the first episode we open up with Jennifer Walters practicing her closing speech for a trial but who cares about that she immediately gets interrupted by toxic male number one who tells her that he can do it better than her and that he, he should be the one that makes the closing speech, well, of course, and then she, he's dismissed. And, well, we don't care about the all this legal mumbo-jumbo. I mean, Jennifer herself tells the audience that we don't care about all this legal mumbo-jumbo. Yes, he's, yes, she says her, it because she breaks the fourth wall and talks to the audience, and she says that only all we care about it's about be she becoming the She-Hulk, and she's right. So we go back like two weeks ago, I think it was, that she's in a holiday with her cousin, Bruce Banner, and they are talking about a little bit about, uh, I mean, Bruce is talking about the Infinity War, I mean, the, the end of Endgame, of how his arm got all mangled up and he developed a device, an inhibitor, that keeps him on his human form. But Jennifer doesn't care about that, she cares about her theory that Captain America is virgin, because of her, of course that's more interesting than the final war against Thanos. So anyway, even that gets cut short because a alien spaceship's a spaceship appears appears out of nowhere 
and she runs out of the road and they are badly wounded she man she releases herself from inside the car and she pulls Bruce out of the car as well she saves him but during all of this she got she got herself on her arm and Bruce is also bleeding and some of and a couple of drops of his blood enter her wound and she, her veins immediately start to turn green and Bruce starts to transform into the Hulk because his inhibitor broke and he tells her get out get out of here and she runs away while transforming into the She-Hulk and then she wakes up in the middle of the forest at night ideally hmm, pun intended ideally close to a some kind of side road bar or something like that and she sneaks up to the bathroom where to clean herself off and she encounters a group of women who helps her they just start cleaning her they apply some makeup on her one of them gives her 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 um, her jacket they lend their phone so they can so she can call a ride and they told her oh you, of course you don't need the guy who made who left left you like this or or woman or they whichever you prefer because of course but then then she's wake up I mean she is waiting outside the bar and uh, three guys come out and of course they are also toxic males who began, begin hitting on her and she tells them that to to go away that she's not interested and of course they being toxic males they don't listen and they start harassing her and she hugs she transforms in, into a hog and scares them but before she can hurt them the hog appears and tackles her and we move on to, to the next scene she wakes up in the that seaside house which we see on the trailer and there's a little easter egg of Tony Stark's last Iron Man helmet resting on a pedestal or something and she finds Bruce on the on the basement where there's this very big laboratory where he has been working about about himself his arm about the whole condition and there's a lot of uh, the scientific mama jumbo genetic giveridge about about they them being genetically 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 Sorry, I'm sorry, I swear that I can speak English. I do, I really do. There, there's some genetical explanation why they can become hawks. Of, um, they immediately start saying that Jennifer is a better hawk than Bruce because there's something about her that she's like more compatible and Bruce used, used her blood, her DNA to fix his arm. And she immediately says, oh, it's because I'm better than you. And he says, no, you're different. But she says, but different in a better way. Uh, because, of course, um, she berates him about, oh, my God, my life is ruined. And this can't be happening to me. I have a career. I have student loans to pay and stuff. But that doesn't matter. Pancake time. She, Jennifer is hungry. Now, uh, Bruce tells her about how it took him 15 years to, of psychological therapy to fix himself. And he subjects Jennifer to a lot of stress to help her to begin her training into controlling her hog form. But there's no need. She's better than, than him. Because while she's transformed, she conserves 
her sanity and her mental faculties, just like in the comic. And she immediately starts saying that she's better than him. And of course, he's jealous. And oh yes, I forgot to mention that there's a woman's joke saying that being afraid and scared and angry is like the best line for every woman in the world. Of, co of course it is. So, and of course, and she already says, I know I'm fine, I have to leave. And Bruce tells her, no, you need training. This is not a joke. Uh, but of course she doesn't listen. And we begin with the training montage on the seaside. Uh, lodge, just like what we saw in the trailer, we have the uh, air horn joke. Bruce tries to train her and she doesn't cooperate, of course. We have the spandex joke and, oh, and a lot of uh, yoga and meditation and the like. And of course she does it much better than, than him. There's the spandex, there's the spandex joke. And they throw rocks. She throws hers farther than his at the first try. She has more equilibrium and the like than than him. And she's like, oh, I don't need this. This is all bad. Yes, I'm better than you, but still a hog. But then he says, oh, there's no, not everything is bad because we can drink a lot and don't and don't get drunk that easily. So we can have a lot of buzz and no and no repercussions and of course she likes that of course because you know women and wine but then they continue with the training oh and i forgot to mention a lot of burp jokes like seriously burp jokes as if fart jokes are any better then she began Complaining that this is all this is stupid, that she has a life, she has a career, she has student loans, that she has personal problems and the like. She's like really self-centered and I can understand, I mean, becoming all of this that happens to her spiral out of control really quickly. And Bruce tries to tell her that she needs con that she has to control herself. And that it took him a lot of time to do so, but to control her anger, that she has to control her anger. But she says that now that I've been controlling my anger my whole life because the, I am surrounded by toxic males and I've been cat called on the streets. And that is, of course, so much worse than being hunted around the world by General, General Ross and the full might of the United States of America's armed forces sure because being catcalled on the street is so much worse than having a whole army of US soldiers hunting you down around the world she, of course and more references to toxic masculinity but of course she is better than Hulk because she can transform at will and of course, she still believes that she's better than him. And she tries to leave to take a, a jeep that's on there over there on the house. And Bruce tries to stop her, but she remains uncooperative. She runs his runs him over. He she throws him at the uh, at the side of the road. Then they began to fight. She masters the Hulk thunderclap like at first try when who knows how long it took Bruce um, as the Hulk to develop that technique so more yelling more fighting they both go like in a Hulk rage they skip continue fighting they roll us off the side and they break the bar so they begin they begin uh, repairing it Bruce tells Jennifer, tells Jennifer that if she wants to go back to her life as a lawyer he respects her de decision and she breaks the wall the fourth wall again 
and she says no he doesn't mean it he doesn't respect my decision and because of course not because he's a toxic male she's surrounded by toxic males then uh, she gives then she she's leaving and she gives a non apology because she still says that she's right and he's wrong that she's right about everything but anyway she leaves and she goes back and then we are we are all caught up with the story where we began seriously you're going to do the the deadpool fourth wall shit and <laughs> anyway and they are at the trial the other lawyer is finishing his closing speech defending his client and it's Jennifer's turn and of course more toxic masculinity because of course we can go five minute with minutes we go without a toxic male belittling Jennifer and it's the same one as the beginning of the episode that wanted to steal her closing speech and now he tells her don't screw this up Walter Waters And then the female villain appears, the one from the trailer, Titania. They fight. I mean, Jennifer hugs out. They fight. She wins, and of course, and then she put puts on her shoes again because, of course, she has to look presentable. And that's the end of the episode in on itself. Then we have the the. The uh, what you call it? what's the word? Ah, uh, yeah, the credits that play alongside some um, drawings. We have even more Captain America version shaming, and but then we have the after credits scene. They are back at the bar. Jennifer is crying because oh, America's ass died a virgin and. Bruce finally gets fed up and she tells her that no, Captain America did not die a virgin, he wasn't a virgin, he he had sexu sexual intercourse with a girl before he got uh, frozen and she screamed Captain America F and that's the end of it. Be and that's She-Hulk. Wow. Seriously, you want to start your episode like that? So what can I say about this? Jennifer is a Karen. Jennifer is a modern day Karen. She's neurotic. She's a control freak. Oh, she's alone against the world. Every, everyone is against her, especially the men. She's a typical 30 plus year old millennial. And but the worst thing is it's like they wrote her to be unlikable. Because here on this series she gets a uh, she transform transformed into a, a Hulk by accident because she's pulling Bruce out of the the red car and she gets exposed to his blood. Whereas in the original comic book, uh, she got attacked by some mobsters or something, and she was bleeding out, she was dying, and Bruce had no option than to give her a blood transfusion, a blood transfusion of his own. And he was worried because, oh, what can my, my blood do to her? But at the beginning, not, nothing happened. But then, the mobsters came. the The mobs, the the bad guys, come back, and she and she transformed into the She Hulk. And yes, on the on the original comic, her ori original um, origin story is Bruce saves her life. But here on the series, she saves Bruce's life. She helps him because, of course. We cannot have a man helping a woman. We cannot have a man giving 
powers to a woman, even though it did here, but here it was by accident. And of course, we have all the berating and the self-centered attitude that the, oh, my life is ruined. Why did this happen to me? Whereas in the comic, she was happy of becoming a hawk because Jennifer Waters was a, a shy woman. And becoming this seven foot tall, extremely strong green woman was like a blessing for her because she was strong and she was big. And she no longer needed to be afraid. And she understood that Bruce was worried about her. But she's the one who tells her, hey, I like being a superhero. In the series, she's, here in this episode, she says, I don't want to be a superhero. I just want my life as a lawyer. Whereas in the comics, she says, yes, I'm still a lawyer. I still have my career, but I also like being a superhero, an Avenger, because I I can help even more people. I mean, that's the point of having these abilities that we have. And I understand that you... that you are worried, cousin, because after everything you have been through, I mean, as I said, he was hunted down by, by the US government around the world. Also, I'm told that Bruce's father was extremely abusive and he beat Bruce's mother to death and I think he witnessed it as a child. But of course being cat caught and mansplaining is so much worse than that. Anyway, that's She-Hulk Attorney at Law Episode 1. They did this on purpose. I mean, the whole setting is interesting because it's like the comic, Jennifer Waters becomes the Hulk, but she continues with her life as a, as a lawyer. But they did this on purpose. They made her unlikable on purpose. Well, that's on you, Marvel and Disney. Hope you like. Enjoy the low ratings. This is the Technomage signing off. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next video.